This is Robert, and I'm coming to you with another automotive tip. The reason I'm bringing you these tips is because I've had good success in keeping cars on the road. I've had a couple of cars with over 200,000 miles on them. I had one with over 400,000 miles on them. And I've only once had a problem with motor wear on one of my cars where I needed to have the motor replaced. And that was because I just quit changing the oil for like 20, 30,000 miles. Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about brake pads. A lot of people cringe when it's time to get a brake job because brake jobs normally cost in excess of $400. There's a couple reasons why the shops charge that much and, and the biggest reason of course is because of the parts. Most of the time when they do your brake job they always tell you that you need new rotors or you need new drums and that's not always the case. So I'm going to point out a little tip on how to uh, know if you need rotors or not. The number one reason you would know that you need brake pads or brake rotors is the rotors uh, will be warped and when you put on the brakes you can feel the car kind of jerking or pulsating. That happens when two situations exist. One, when the uh, rotors are worn and they start to get thin, they'll warp and become uneven. The second time is when they're just cheap rotors. So you can have brand new rotors put on the car and because they're cheap material or a cheap made brand, six months or a year later you can need new rotors. Where normally a good set of rotors should, should last you about four or five years at least. What I have in my hand here is a used brake pad. Now if you take a look at this brake pad, it has a metal portion of it and then it has a portion of the pad that has a thickness on it. Right now this pad has a little bit more than a quarter of an inch left on it. Normally these pads are about a half inch thick of, of the pad meat that presses against the rotors. Now normally new pads will have a groove slotted in the middle of the pad. You can't see this groove when the pads are installed on the car unless you look through the top of the rotor. But generally when this pad wears down to where that groove is no longer visible it's getting close time to change the pad. Now this kind of wear left on this pad, this pad could probably actually last another 15 or 20,000 miles. I went on ahead and changed these pads because the rears were due and the fronts were close enough and the wear strip was gone so I went on ahead and replaced them. But if you're running a little low on cash, what you want to do is look in the wheel area, see how much meat is left on your pads and that will help you decide whether or not you need new brakes. I recently went to a customer's house that told me they needed new brakes put on their Mercedes. When I got to their house, took the wheel off, looked at the meat on the pad, I said, wait a second, this doesn't need new pads, but they had a warning inside their dash that said it's time to replace the brake pads. Well, turned out they had a bad brake wear sensor. Anytime you replace the brakes on that car, you have to replace the sensor. If you don't, a bad sensor can give you an indication that you need new pads. Now, her brake pads still had the slot. They had 50% of the wear left. Now, to me, that is way too early to be replacing those pads. But had she taken that car to a, a garage or maybe even to the dealer, there's a good chance that they would have been glad to do a $1,200 brake job on that Mercedes. Well, I was able to help her uh, realize that it was a bad sensor. And this part, this brake sensor, must be the cheapest part that comes on that Mercedes. Because when I called the dealer, they told me that sensor was only $10. I've never heard of a part on a Mercedes being that cheap, but she had a $10 part that could have cost her approximately $1,200. Anyway, now, if you're thinking that you need new pads or want to check to see if you need new pads and you have wheels that have gaps in them, you can actually look through the wheel, look through it on a certain angle and to see if there's any meat left on the pad. If you have any problems seeing the edge of the pad through the wheel, 
you can get a dentist mirror like this. Push this through the wheel and look at the reflection of the pad to see if there's any meat on it. In a second, I'm going to have uh, a closer look at a pad through one of these aluminum wheels. And I put some white out on the actual metal part of the uh, brake pad. And everything from that white out on through to the edge of the rotor is good meat left on the pads. Now these pads have been on this car for a year, so we're going to go ahead and glance and to see if you can tell how much meat is left on those pads. So when you come down here and look through the wheel, you can see a little whiteout on this clip, but when you look in a little bit further, you'll see the whiteout on the meat, I mean on the uh, metal part of the pad, and then from that whiteout, all the way into the actual surface of the rotor is the meat of the pad. So you can see that pad has plenty of meat left on it. So if you ever want to glance through your wheels, you can tell if you have a lot of space left on your pads. Also, when you look at the rotors back up here, your rotors are the flat, smooth surface. And if you ride your finger across that rotor, don't do it after you drove because this is going to be very hot. But if you have a lip edge that comes up on the edge of your rotors from where the pad is, that's a groove that's worn into the rotors. If you have that situation, you likely need new rotors as well. So this car, the next time brakes are done, it needs a new set of rotors. And also that surface is not smooth, so the pads are wearing a groove into that rotor. So that basically tells you how to check to see if you need pads and if you need rotors because the rotors are worn. Now I recommend you get a good quality rotor so that they don't warp on you in a year or two. And if you think you need pads, you can look at the wear. Now some pads has that wear indicator that'll make a light on inside your car. Like if you have a Mercedes or a BMW or some other high quality you know, expensive car, they'll have a sensor that'll light up in the dash telling you that you need brake pads. Now, a few American cars actually will put a little clip on the end of this metal that will hang in about an eighth of an inch. And when you get down to where that meat of that pad is wearing in, it will actually start making a horrible squealing sound while you're driving around and when you put your foot on the brakes. I recently had a, a guy call me thinking that he needed brake pads on his car because occasionally when he stopped, he heard squealing. Well, that's one thing about brake pads. They will squeal. But if you have that metal thing on there, they'll squeal all the time. So an occasional squeal is okay. A constant squeal, you probably need pads. Take a look in the wheel and see if you need them. One more thing about brake pads is that some brake pads produce more dirt than others. I particularly like to get brake pads that have a ceramic base. A ceramic base pad will produce less brake dust than a metallic brake pad. Also, some of your long lasting brake pads or inexpensive pads will create more brake dust make a little bit more noise and sometimes even wear your rotors out faster so get a good quality brake pad now if you let your brakes totally wear out where there's no more meat on this pad it'll actually be metal to metal i promise you if you wear your brakes down that quick you'll know it the same day because your brake smooth motion will turn into a grabbing grinding I mean, just a horrible feeling when you put your brakes on. At that point, you need to get those brakes done within a day or two because metal to metal doesn't provide the same gripping braking action as a pad will, and your braking distance will be shortened dramatically when there's no more meat on the pad. So, there you have it. A little bit of information about brake pads. I hope this helped you.